In this tutorial, we are going to teach you how to use equipment. We first want to select our equipment from the vehicle. For this tutorial, we will begin by using the Halligan bar. When an object is on the ground, a small spinning icon indicating the equipment type is displayed in order to more easily locate the objects on the ground. In order to pick up an object, move toward the object until you see a small help box appear. This box will read, X to pick up Halligan bar. Once we press the X button, the firefighter retrieves the Halligan bar. Note the small Halligan bar icon on the lower right corner of the screen, denoting what object we are currently holding. The Halligan bar is a versatile item. It may be used to vent windows by moving towards a window and hitting the A button. Notice the help box that appears to indicate the proper button interaction. Pressing the A button swings the Halligan bar and breaks the window. Notice that the help box has now changed to A to clear window. This indicates that the window can still be cleared of glass. Pressing the A button again will clear the remaining glass and framing from the window. In some cases, an object will have multiple uses, which will change depending on what we are interacting with. A good example of this is the gas wrench. Let's go to the vehicle and retrieve the gas wrench, but first, we will use the X button to drop the Halligan bar. Dropping an item is sometimes useful, but if you already have equipment in your hand when you select new tools, you will automatically drop whatever you are holding, or replace the tool into the vehicle if you happen to be near a vehicle. Moving to the gas main will cause a help box to appear. If you do not have an item that can shut off the gas main, the help box will read, this object requires a tool to activate. Notice how, on our equipment wheel, we do not have the gas wrench as our active equipment. You can use the Y button to change which piece of equipment we are using. You can hold up to three different pieces of equipment at a time, enabling us to equip our firefighter to handle many different situations at once. Once we cycle back to the gas wrench, the help box will change to read A to shut off gas to the home. Pressing the A button will shut off the gas to the home. Notice that our help box has disappeared. This is because the gas is already off. If you approach an object that has no interaction or has already been interacted with and requires no more interaction, no help box will appear, and pressing the A button will have no effect. Each tool has its own set of interactions that it may perform. These interactions are always indicated using a help box and are generally always performed using the A button. We left our Halligan bar in the yard beside the window. Let's go retrieve that piece of equipment. Notice how the firefighter picks up the Halligan bar and the icon for the gas wrench in the lower right corner shifts aside to make room for the Halligan bar. This is because the Halligan bar is your active equipment. A firefighter can carry three pieces of equipment at a time. The active piece of equipment is shown as a large icon and the inactive pieces of equipment are small icons. Pressing the Y button toggles between the pieces of equipment. Some items may perform multiple tasks, such as a Halligan bar, which can not only break windows, but also force open locked doors. In such cases, bringing the item to an area where it may be used will cause a help box to appear and indicate the action. For instance, moving to the front door with our Halligan bar will show us help on how to force open a locked door. Pressing the A button will cause the firefighter to force open the door. If the door had not been locked, the help box would not have appeared to force open the door. Other tools can be used for similar purposes, such as a fire axe, sledgehammer, or chainsaw. The items will indicate their use to you at the time, or else give the help box reading, this item requires a tool to activate or a similar message indicating that the proper tool is not currently equipped to perform the task. This concludes the tutorial on using equipment.